Today we are making dinu guan. Here are the ingredients you will be needing. The ingredients are ginger, garlic, pepper, bay leaves, onion, pork blood, and about two to three pounds of pork shoulder butt. Turn the heat to high. And when the pan is hot, I dropped two to four tablespoons of cooking oil. I used corn oil. I usually swirl my oil before sauteing. Uh, here, I am uh, dropping the ginger first so that uh, the aroma and the flavor will infuse into the oil. I'm using a lot of ginger because it has a very warm, spicy taste to it and uh, sometimes it is peppery. And uh, also, it has a pungent aroma and has a sharp, spicy flavor to it. Now I am adding the one medium sized onion that has been chopped and the reason for this onion is because it adds the mild and aromatic uh, sweet spicy flavor of the bite of the onion meaning the bite meaning the spicy flavor here I am putting uh, I am clearing uh, the center of the pan to make way for the garlic you see the garlic is the key note for this dish that's the reason why I'm using a lot of it uh, 10 cloves if not more uh, all you gotta do is just uh, brown the garlic and uh, also this is when I added in the bay leaf or the bay leaves uh, the reason being is so that uh, all of these vegetables will combine will infuse all the flavors all together and uh, bring out the essence their aroma and uh, their flavor all together uh, to prepare to infuse into the meat at this point you can choose whatever pepper of your choice or preference here i am using the korean sweet pepper the original calls for the manila pepper which is very hot and spicy but you can choose to use uh, the thai chili pepper or any other type of pepper you like um, cayenne whatever you like now some of you might wonder why i am adding the pork now well i want to infuse the flavor of all the sauteed vegetables you see, the pork will render its juice, and this is the time that I want, um, well, I am adding fish sauce here, and I'm only using two tablespoonfuls of fish sauce. We call it patis, but um, if you don't have fish sauce, then you can just use salt, any kind of salt but only a teaspoonful it depends on your taste if you want it salty you can add some more if uh, you want it mild then just a teaspoonful of salt or two tablespoonfuls of the fish sauce is fine then incorporate them all until um, everything is mixed together and then uh, uh, lower the heat to medium or medium low and uh, allow the pork to render its uh, juice not the fat yet this is when i checked on the pan 15 20 minutes after and uh, the pork is now rendering its juice as you can see here this is when all the flavors are combining together and uh, the pork will obviously uh, drink up all the, the the flavor in from the juice it'll drink it all up and uh, permeate into the meat so what i'm doing here is uh, just uh, let it simmer for a little bit uh, add some pepper i uh, add a lot of uh, black ground 
ground black pepper into the pork or into the pan and then uh, uh, let it simmer cover the pan immediately after come on cover it <laughs> so I'm gonna cover the pan lower the heat to medium low and uh, allow it to simmer again for about 10-15 minutes 15 minutes after simmering um, here now is the pork that has rendered its fat the juice is gone and uh, it's been absorbed by the meat and now all you gotta do is um, mix it all together make sure that uh, nothing is sticking inside a pan just uh, keep mixing it and once everything is mixed together I added half a cup of sugar cane white vinegar tradition dictates that as soon as you pour the vinegar into the pan or whatever dish that you're cooking do not mix it do not mix uh, the meat do not mix anything inside that pan otherwise whatever you're cooking the vinegar will stay raw well obviously that is not true what uh, they probably meant is that the acidity or the sourness will stay if uh, you mix it that's the reason why um, tradition um, adds sugar in order to neutralize the acidity or the sourness of the vinegar and that is exactly what I am about to do here I am adding one tablespoonful of sugar into the pan in order to do exactly just that to neutralize the sourness or acidity of the vinegar immediately after adding the sugar I added the pork blood before you put in the pork blood you need to add one fourth of a cup of vinegar into the blood and then uh, start smashing it uh, you need to combine the vinegar uh, in the blood and then uh, after incorporating the blood into the pan um, I mixed it all together and now it's time to skim off the fat I know uh, the fat actually is really bad for your cholesterol uh, but here um, I didn't remove the fat until after I added in the blood uh, you can you can remove the fat uh, before uh, adding in the blood but for me I kept it in uh, until um, after the blood so that the flavor will penetrate into the, the blood or essentially the sauce then uh, just mix it all together combine it well and then uh, soon after I removed as much fat as I can and um, take it all out just like what I'm doing here um, I actually removed everything as much as I did uh, off camera this time uh, just to make sure that there's no fat uh, remaining uh, here I am tasting obviously what uh, I cooked <laughs> including uh, the sauce and uh, just to have a little taste whether it is acceptable or not and uh, basically at this point uh, the pork I mean I'm sorry this dish actually is already ready to serve it turned out really well I am proud of this dish not because I cooked it but uh, I actually followed one of the youtubers her name is princess Esther Landayan and uh, she made in, she makes incredible dishes and I followed her her recipe and this one actually came out really good and uh, I think I like her recipe better thank you very much for watching and and I hope that you will try cooking this dish soon thank you again for watching